Lesson 73, adding or subtracting a decimal and whole number. We've learned quite a bit about decimals, how to add or subtract two decimals, how to multiply two decimals. Sometimes though you have to add a decimal, not to another decimal, but to a whole number. Let me show you what I mean with an example. The scale showed that the first package weighed 12.45 pounds and the second package weighed seven pounds. What is the combined weight of the two packages? To solve this problem, we need to add 12.45 to the whole number 7. And here's how we do it. We put 12.45 on top because it has more digits, and then 7 can go on bottom. When we're adding decimals, we always have to line up the decimal points, remember? But we've got a problem here because 7 doesn't have a decimal point. What do we do now? Well, it's pretty easy, actually, because 7 really does have a decimal point. It's just not showing. Every whole number has a decimal point that's just to the right of it. So we can change 7 to 7 point. Now we can put the 7 point in the right place. It needs to go here so that the decimal points are lined up. We're still not quite ready to add because we need to fill these holes. You know that we can put in as many zeros as we want after the decimal point without changing the value of the number. So let's put in two zeros. That fills the holes under the 4 and the 5 and 12.45. Most people don't fill the hole to the left of the 7 in the tens place. You could do it if you wanted, but most people just leave that blank and think of it as a zero when they're adding that column. So now we're ready to add. Why don't you add the first column? What's 5 plus 0? Good. Now the second column. What's 4 plus 0? That's right. And go ahead and do the next column. You got it. Now for the last column. And remember, just think of that blank as a 0. Go ahead. Exactly. So we end up with 19.45. That's the combined weight of the two packages. The main point is that when you add a decimal to a whole number, you need to put in a decimal point to the right of the whole number. That basically turns the whole number into another decimal. Then you can add in the usual way. Now let's do a subtraction example. Jill's pedometer showed that she had walked 4 miles. Anne's pedometer said she had walked 2.37 miles. How many more miles did Jill walk? On this problem, we need to figure out 4 minus 2.37. The way to do it is to put 4 on top, since it's bigger. And then 2.37 goes underneath. And we have the same issue that we did before. 4 is a whole number, so the decimal point isn't showing. But all we have to do is put in a decimal point to the right of the 4 and line up the decimal points in the two numbers. We're still not ready to subtract, though, because we have some holes. Why don't you fill in the holes the way you're supposed to? Good. Those zeros don't change the value of the number. 4 is actually the same as 4.00. Now we can subtract. Why don't you do the first column? And you're going to have to regroup twice, actually, on this. Go ahead. Excellent. Now subtract in the second column. What's 9 minus 3? That's right. Next we subtract in the third column. What's 3 minus 2? You got it. So we end up with 1, 6, 3 on bottom. And you know that the decimal point goes directly below the points in the numbers that we subtracted. So it goes between the 1 and the 6. The final answer is 1.63 miles. That's how many more miles Jill walked. But the main point of this last example is that you can also subtract a whole number and a decimal. Just put a decimal point after the whole number. Then if you need to, put in extra zeros to fill in the holes.